The Kanu Isba Board, also known as the Islamic Police, has explained why it treats the rich and the poor differently while enforcing some of its rules. The director of the Islamic Police, Aliyu Kibir, gave the explanation when he featured on a Freedom radio program. According to Kibiyu, it is against the tenets of Islam to publicly criticize a leader. He said, although we call on everybody in the society to do the right thing, we make the call on a case-by-case -case basis. It is against the tenets of Islam to mount the podium and call out leaders. There are ways to caution a leader without criticizing him, him in public. Isba had recently come under intense pressure to act on some pictures of the daughter of the Emir of Bilchi, who recently got married to President Muhammad Buhari's only son. A video of the wedding party shows Nigerian singer singing and some of the party attendants sporting Afro and others. Or any of the hairstyles, Kanu State Isba has labeled as on Islamic and an insult to Islam. Also, secular songs Isba has vehemently frowned upon were played at the party with young northern men and women dancing to them. All these have attracted punishment from Kanu Isba in case where poor Nigerians were involved. Noting the hypocrisy exhibited by the Islamic police, which were nowhere to be found during the wedding, human rights activist Omoyele had said, Yusuf Buhari's wedding and the Kanu Hizba that shaved the head of poor people, but was nowhere to be found around the highly secular Muhammad Buhari's son wedding. One country, two laws, is a applicable to the poor and the other is applicable to rich and highly connected who says poverty is not a crime hashtag hashtag revolution now hashtag buari must go ironically his bar has been notorious for sharing and uh, shaving the hairs of poor northerners with afro and other hairstyles termed as on Islamic by the base Islamic police. Similarly, in February, a Baba from Benue State, Elisha Ode, was arrested by Kano Isba in the Sabongari area of the state for giving his customers hairstyles said to have offended Islamic faith. Two of Ode's customers were also tortured for having such offensive haircuts. The religious Police force re reportedly arranged Ode and had him reminded. Recently, after it was knocked by the public for being silent on the photographs of the bridal shower of Buhari's daughter in law, Isba responded by prohibiting the sharing of the bridal shower photographs. Sarah reporters had spotted that. Some Nigerians highlighted Zara's gun, part of which is made from a transparent material, while others pointed out that she did not have her hair covered, as is usually done by Muslim women. The Islamic police described sharing the photos on live by Muslims as a sin. Meanwhile, the Islamic police have since bound stylish haircuts, sagging of trousers, and playing of music at social events by Dick's Jack, uh, Jackings. His bar police also banned commercial motorcycles and tricycles riders from carrying two women at a time. Of recent, the Kanu State is bar board banned the use of mannequins to display clothes by tellers, supermarkets, and boutique owners in the state. His back command in charge of Otaze Harun Mohammed Sani 
had said the use of mannequins by tailors, boutiques owners, and other control and others controvise the provision of Islamic injunctions. He added that the agency would educate offenders on how Islamic frowns on the use of mannequins and send its officials to apprehend and prosecute them. <clears throat> Northern Nigeria, Afghanistan, because the poor does not have anybody to assist them, double standard religion, go to hell. Why bothering yourself? He dies a natural death soon as they have started shooting themselves on the leg by their comments and actions of discrimination. Hmm. Nigeria is a secular country. We don't need these cavemen trying to tell us how to live unless their laws are biding on every member of the society and not just the poor besides everyone will face its judgment in hereafter. In this world, there are over 1,000 different religions. One sometimes wonders why all this violence, deceit, hatred, and even keeps sorry, even keeps sponsoring from this particular religion that claim to be of the truest God and the most peaceful. I don't know. All right. These are Nigerians' reactions to this, and they are still talking. So many persons are saying here that this is just an hypocrisy. Why is it that the law? is just meant for the poor so what they are trying to say here now is if you are a leader you are a rich man and you do something wrong you cannot be corrected yeah you cannot be corrected and the law is not for you because you are a leader but when the poor man on the streets do the same thing that man did they will go for the person <laughs> So the only only sin the poor man committed here is just because you are poor. This is not right. The the law should be for everyone. Nobody should be above the law if they actually know what they are doing. So guys, I'm gonna drop it here. Kindly hit the comment section. What's your view on this? And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much for always stopping by. I really do appreciate. Bye for now.